What's up? What's up? What's up, family? Hey, man. I highly, highly appreciate y'all, man. Your viewership, y'all just don't understand how humbling it is. And the subscribers, y'all are the ones that keep it going, man. And we did it. You know what I'm saying? This is just the beginning, but we are at 1,000 right now and still growing. And I highly, highly appreciate y'all, man. Like I told y'all before, when I started this channel, it wasn't to see how many subscribers I could get and all that kind of stuff. It was just to deliver great content on a hobby that I have a passion for. And collecting these fragrances and letting y'all know about them and getting the feedback and kind of putting y'all up on game, that is, you know, what does it for me and everything. So everybody who's joining in and, and subscribing, that's just a bonus. It shows me that y'all are interested in this content. And uh, I mean, because I'm guilty of it myself. I watch YouTube videos and got people that I could watch on a regular basis and I don't always subscribe. So that means a lot. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep this thing going. And if you are tuning in for the first time on this one, then welcome. And you picked the right one, man. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can enter in this giveaway. You could be that winner. That is two winners. So y'all stay tuned later on in the video. And I'm going to explain to you how you can win this prize. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show y'all some of the stuff. Like I said, anything in my collection is up for grabs. So we're going to jump right into it. We have two new fragrances that came in that also is added to that, that if you want that and you win, you can get to smell that too. You can get a decant of those. So right off the bat, we have a clone of Louis Vuitton's Imagination. One of the highly hyped ones right now. A lot of Louis Vuittons are going crazy right now. So I wanted to get my nose on Imagination. And why not go to a house that maybe y'all can find this in the rack stores because this is from Milestones. And it is called Intimation. It is a 100 milliliter uh, Eau de Parfum concentration box pretty simple and everything this is my first box from milestone y'all know i pick my milestones up from like tj maxx and marshall's and all that so hopefully if somebody can run into this in the rack store of course they copy the louis vuitton bottles if you have seen or interested to know what those look like it's pretty much right on par this is a very solid heavy glass bottle don't drop it on your foot um Cap is pretty snug, does not click into place, is not magnetic like, mag, yeah, is not magnetic like the Louis Vuittons, but it is very snug. And one of the greatest things about it is, of course, the milestone atomizer. Wow. All right, y'all, let's talk about the chords because this has the same note breakdown as Louis Vuitton Imagination. The chords are citrus, amber, fresh, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, and green. And just beautiful. Um, top notes are citron, Calabrian, bergamot, Sicilian, orange. Middle notes are Nigerian, ginger. <laughs> it's funny to me when they put all these countries on these, these notes. Like, is that really where they came from? Anyway, middle notes, Nigerian, ginger, two, two, two. Tunsinian, Neroli, Ceylon, Cinnamon, and in the base you have Chinese black tea, not just black tea, it's Chinese black tea, Ambroxan, Olibanum, and Gayak wood. Now, like I said, it is very nice in the air. Very nice in the air. Um, what, you, what do I get right off the bat? I mean, you can't help but get the citrus right off, you know, that Centron, bergamot, and Sicilian orange just combines for a citrus bomb blast of juiciness. The ginger, of course, gives it that effervescence, as we always say, it makes it sparkle some. You don't get that cinnamon that comes in the mid right off the bat. It may be a little spiciness that you're kind of getting in there. Um, I feel like that Chinese black tea is definitely bringing some type of sweetness in this. I think, you know, you know, coming from the base, you get that, um, 
Yeah, it's very, just a very fresh, like, you're going to smell good. The Neroli kind of gives it almost a soapy vibe. Yeah, just a very clean, fresh scent. You know, like, almost like into some fresh linen straight out the dryer or whatever. I'm not going to say dryer sheets because that throw people off sometimes, but it's very nice. The olibanum and the gayak wood in the base, I don't want anybody to get scared of that because, you know, gayak wood can be compared to oud. It's not oudy or anything like that. I mean, it may have a bit of a wood presence, but that actually comes probably later on in the dry down. Just right off the bat, first impressions, you just, hey, it's a dumb reach, smell good fragrance. Spring, summertime, of course. Uh, sure, fall. I mean, you could probably wear it any time of year, especially if you wear it around the house, but if you're going to spray this on like in the cold weather to go out and about, it may not do so well. But in the enclosed environments, this is signature scent worthy. Definitely office safe. I mean, all you're going to do is smell good to someone. You know, no, it's not going to offend anyone. It's just, it's a beautiful scent. Now, if it smells exactly like Imagination, I'm not sure because I haven't put my nose on Imagination. I do plan to one day soon. Uh, may get a decan of that and try it out. but. As it stands right now, I haven't smelled it, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. So, yeah, that's one of the ones that y'all can grab if you're interested, um, at least a decan of. What uh, I'm going to break down exactly what you're going to win later on, so stay tuned. All right, this one, this one I've been waiting on. As y'all know, YSL Tuxedo is like the one of the biggest hyped you know, YSL, our most niche quality uh, designer fragrances out there. And, but now this one, not this one, but this is the clone of YSL Baby Cat has been getting the big buzz, the big hype. All the main uh, influencers have been kind of talking about it and everything. And this is said to be one of the best depictions of that scent. You have a lot. Is it a tough one? No, you have uh, Paris Corner's Rificat, Rificat, Rificat out there, but it stays sold out. But I've heard that that one is not as good as this one. So, of course, we're going to go for the best. And that is Niel Queen. Company is uh, Ar Arabiat Prestige. Arabiat, Arabiat Prestige. That's what we'll say. So let's get into it. I'm excited about this one because I haven't got my nose on Baby Cat. I do plan to get a decant of that. We will do a comparison. I almost dropped the box. It is a pretty neat presentation, y'all. The box is like this golden, you know, very Middle Eastern looking, nice little cla plaque type presentation there with the Niel Oud. This is a 70 milliliter bottle, though. This is 2.4. Uh, and mine is, this thing was just bouncing around in there, y'all. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to, and I haven't opened it. This is a official unboxing. From, and I wouldn't think it was supposed to sit to the side like that. There you go. That's how it's supposed to sit in there. Get you a good look at that. Very beautiful presentation and bottle and everything. I really, has a wolf on there. Some people saying it's a lion and all that. This is clearly well, maybe not so clearly. It's a tiger. I was saying wolf at first, but that's a tiger. Yeah. I probably will get the one with the wolf. I mean, the one with the lion because I am a Leo and that is supposed to be a copy of YSL's tuxedo that they saying is great also. So let's get into this. The baby cat, because this is supposed to have the same, again, same exact notes in the chords. So vanilla, fresh, spicy, leather, warm, spicy, powdery, amber, musky, aromatic, balsamic. And the notes are as follows. Top notes are black pepper twice, black pepper, black pepper, and pink pepper. Then in the mid, you have olibanum and saffron. Base notes of bourbon, vanilla, suede. And cedar. So, this should give you a spiciness as well as some leather accords. 
because the older Bantam and the suede kind of gives off that same soft leather accord. Um, let's take a look at the bottle. Like I said, very solid presentation. Cap does not click into place, but it is very snug, pretty premium filling. Yeah. Let's check out the atomizer and get into this set. Let's see what we get. All right. Prime it up. Oh, come on now. I know you can do me better than that. That's horrible. Those little spurts are horrible. Okay. Right off the top. Okay. I was getting this little medicinal quality of. All right, y'all. Elemi is all also in the top. It's nice. It is. It's not overwhelmingly just knocking my socks off right now. Maybe it's because, I mean, let me, let me smell. Because it has this oiliness about it, like a kerosene type vibe. If y'all have ever smelled like, you know, old school when you, you know, light the lanterns, you know, whatever's in there. It's not that bad, but it's just put me in the mind or something like that. Now, I do get the spiciness. It's got to be the leather. The leather comes out. That's what that, that's what is giving that off. That suede, olibatum or whatever. That's why I'm getting that feel. But okay. As it develops, you definitely get the vanilla in there. That bourbon vanilla comes out. The spiciness. It's nice. I'm not getting, maybe because, let me, let me do this. Sometimes your atomizer is not on good. And you have to replace it and then try to spray it again. It's still sputtering. I don't like the atomizer. It's trash. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to do some, do some wearing with this one and see how it starts to develop. First impression, it's nice. It's not knocking my socks off. It's not better than um, what I'm smelling from YSL Tuxedo clones because I haven't ever smelled the real tuxedo. But I definitely like that DNA better so far. Yeah. but. It's good. It's good. It's not crazy. I definitely, if that's exactly how I smell, because they said this one is like 90% close to Baby Cat, I definitely won't want to pay that price tag for that. Like, thank God I got this. All right. So, now, jumping into the giveaway, y'all. Anything in my collection, as stated, well, this is the video that you need to be on. You need to be subscribed. You need to like this video. You need to comment down below. Uh, no cap 1000 hashtag no cap 1000 is what you need to put below to enter into the contest. And like I said, the winners will receive two 5ml decants of anything in my collection. So that means you can double up on something or go from there. And here are a few things that I suggest, you know, some of the ones that if you look at some of these clones and you've been interested in some of the more pricier ones like this right here. I just did a video on this, the vintage radio with that Palo Santo and that plum. It is beautiful in the opening. Um, I'm still in the process of seeing how good it performs, but so far it was projecting real good when I tried it on. Um, Y'all already know this right here, Honor and Glory, one of the most sought after ones out there right now. That beautiful creamy pineapple and spiciness like a cinnamon pineapple upside down cake type scent is what I call it. Great performance on there. Good projection. Definitely one that would be good to try out. All right. And this right here, got another video coming up on this. And I just dropped one with my first impressions on this one. I have given it a full wearing. And when I say performance, wow. I'm going to compare it. A lot of people want to compare it to this one right here. 
which is another one that y'all can go ahead and get decants of, and that is Gary's Den. Of course, this right here is cloning Dior Homme Intense, and this is cloning Dior Homme Parfum. They want to know which one's the best. Stay tuned for that versus to see which one's the best. This is more of a sweeter take. Really enjoyed it. Lasted. If you put on clothes, you're going to smell it the next day. Plain and simple. On skin, 10 plus hours. Great. This one, close to the similar the same thing. But like I said, I'm going to test them side by side. You get a strong 8 to 10 hours out of this as well. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And let's see. If you're interested in, like I said, everything is up for grabs, man. Like if y'all want to try this, this is my favorite fall wintertime fragrance right now i mean i just love the smell of this this is azaro most wanted parfum that tuberose or whatever that little sparkling grape soda vibe in the top with the vanilla and the spiciness and everything it just works bro it just works like yeah can't go wrong with that i can try that um this right here Based off of this is Intro Aftermath by Fragrance World. Let me make sure it's Fragrance World. And not Mason the Humber. Yeah, Fragrance World. Aftermath. Clone of Initio Side Effect. Does it awesomely. Especially after this bottle sits and it has macerated. Man. It's similar to Jazz Club with a little more spiciness in the top. A welcome spiciness. Like, it, it's a beautiful scent. And it lasts and it projects. You can dress it up, something like this. You, that Hey, that works perfectly. Um, Y'all all know, one of the most hyped clones this year has been this one right here. Blue Electric Clone Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World. It is a beautiful scent. It's a, it, it's a it's a um, Swiss Army knife. You can wear this any time of year. I honestly feel that way. Um, date night, office, it's just going to work. At least eight hours in performance. Um, put these two together. Let's see. Both of the Enigmas. You got Enigma Un, Enigma Do. Enigma Oom, um, cloning um, Savage Elixir, does it very well. You know, Aside is another great one. This is one of the more, right now, more expensive because, you know, it's more hype. And it does really stick to the, the DNA of the original Savage a little more than Aside, but some people like the sweeterness of the Aside. And this right here did win my clone war against Cocktail Intense. Uh, as far as being the exact of Angel Share from opening to end. But Cocktail Intense, you can get that too because I feel like the performance is just as much. This only outdoes Cocktail Intense in the projection. The projection. Like both of them are like dead on for Angel Share. But uh, yeah, you got those two. And what else? Mm. I mean, everything, I just, these are just ones I'm suggesting. Y'all know I'm going to share this with you because, hey, your boy got the hook up on that. And that is Mancera's Tonka Cola. Oh, my God. This spicy, vanillic, um, Coca-Cola vibe, cherry, just beautiful scent and performs, projects three hours or more. You're going to get compliments. It's going to last you all day. And you're going to love it. Yeah. Try that if you're interested. And last but not least, one of my newest pickups. Um, wore it the other day. I think I went nose blind to it, but got a compliment after probably the sixth hour on this buddy right here. Uh, and that is. Milano Privé, which is a clone of discontinued Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. That tobacco, you're going to smell it on you until the end of the day. Like the sweetness, yeah, it, it performs, y'all. 
and performs. So, hey man, thanks for watching. Thank y'all for your hey for rocking with me. Continue to like, subscribe, drop a comment below. Definitely, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, comment below. One th uh, no cap one thousand to be entered in. Can't wait to see who wins. Hey man, again, thank y'all.